Yep. All living things are made of cells, and we now know that cells are mostly made of water. Sure. This was discovered only after the invention of the microscope. In the deserts of Arabia, it would be inconceivable to think that someone would have guessed that all life came from water. And then the, the verse, the Surah 21, verse 30, and right. we made every living thing from water, will okay. they not believe? So, do okay. you agree with that argument? Sure. The first thing that was created is water and the throne. Okay. Now, understand something. When we say that water, we don't mean like a river because there's no world, right? This means this is the building blocks of the entire, not just the universe, every creation. Okay. okay? From that, in the way that Allah willed, there was gases made and the heavenly bodies were gases at a time from the water and then they came to be okay. and that was the building block of all of creation okay. okay but we don't mean that everything made of water like we took water and made it into a building right just want to be clear go ahead uh, and it's every living thing right sure i mean everything's so, alive in certain ways anyway so oh, let me drink some water. angels and jinn are living things right all right, Let's keep going. All right. from water. Good. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created everything's building block from that original water. From that water, then develop different things. Okay? Are you getting what I'm saying or no? Okay. So I'll give you an easier example. Let's say a, a, a part of a sun in the universe breaks off because of a collision. And as it rotates, as it cools, it becomes a planet. Okay? Then on that planet, from that building block, now you get ice on it and water comes okay. and then you take that water and you make a drink and you say hey this was originally from that fire and i tell you oh you're saying water is made from fire no the quran is telling you the building block of all of creation was water but from it then came different elements from those elements came different elements from them came a fire that allah knows best we don't mean the fire that's in your oven that allah made the jinn from from that came a nur a light that allah then made malaika from that from them came a teen a, a, a earth that Allah made in sand from. But if you took it back to the beginning of creation, that would have all come from that original water that Allah created. So the position, the position of cosmology is you have this big bang at first, everything is just this, this burst of energy. Then over time, it eventually, it eventually uh, starts forming. Hey, you're back. I guess you didn't have to go, huh? <laughs> it eventually starts forming the lighter elements. Sure. And eventually when you get to oxygen, that's a heavier element. Mm -hmm. And by the time you actually get chemical bonds like in water, that's going to be way down the road. Sure. So you're saying that science is wrong and that water was at the beginning and that somehow out of water, everything else was formed. But notice that would be, according to that, that would be massively in conflict with, gotcha. with, sun, with the modern scientific view, right? Can I respond? I'm asking you, do you think the Prophet Muhammad Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have known that about cells and cells having water in 6th century Arabia. Absolutely not, but he doesn't Thank say you. that cells come from water. You. He doesn't Thank say you. that at all. Thank you. So you do agree that he would not have known that? He would not have known that. Okay. Today, when we look at it from a scientific perspective, that you can test in a lab. Okay, do you know the scientific method? Okay, so we're going to separate between theories and, and actual things that you can test in a lab, right? If you take that, you could say the building block of all, all everything on earth, everything living, are cells which are from water. Today we could make that statement. The Prophet Muhammad would have no idea, but this is what the Quran tells us. Now let's get to your question. When we say that this is the building block, you said that first came what? So what came first before water? What did you say? You were saying that according to scientists, before water was what? Yeah, would have just been energy. Okay. Then can you can you scientifically test that in a lab? Uh, no. You cannot. Uh, no. You cannot. So it's not a scientific fact. No. And this is my fundamental issue with Dawah. Man is created from all kinds of things. <laughs> but this one is talking about water and cells. Is this saying man or all living creation? All living creation. Okay. Is all so living creation is, made of cells or not? Mean, what does it mean to be created? He doesn't want to engage. He cells. doesn't want to engage. There's not one word about what this What's means. What's the word for it cell in Arabic? What's the word? Okay, okay listen, 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 listen. If the Prophet was going to tell the Sahaba that what's meant here is cells, what word would he use? 
See, this is your, this is your, where you get stuck, right? Because that word didn't exist. They don't know what cells were. And later, when the generations realize this, we get the understanding this is what was meant. And that's why the Quran speaks to us even today in a world of science.